Skill points for. And 10% more cooking points from served dishes. Your rewards from daily quests are larger. Kitchen decorations are cheaper. More experience points for dish stars. More experience points for dish stars. Hmm. That could be good, getting more fame points. I don't see how that could ever be bad. Progs cost less money. That could save... That could save you money in the long run. Uh, DJ, I don't see your anniversary. Oh, yes, there it is. Four months. Thank you, DJ. Sorry I missed that. Spices cost less. Equipment repairs are faster. Not cheaper, the faster. Duration of cleaning phase. Equipment breaks down 10%, 20% slower. Those things are going to make you money in the long run, or rather save you money. If we get this, we've now combined two things. One is we get two daily quests a day, and the next thing is we get 10% bonus on each one. In fact, if we get that, we've now got 30, yeah? So we're going to get two daily quests, each with a 30% buff. Combo, baby. Chinese on McDonald's, Mrs. Frosty. Chinese. I guess I'm more likely to order a dish of the day, but don't be surprised if they choose something else on the menu. Remember that baked trout is our dish of the day. Within an hour, we'll be open for business. Use that time to get ready for work. Uh, what's going on? I think it's bugged out. Fantastic. Oh, fantastic. This looks like an alt F4 to me. Connor, Paul, hope you're well. Will you be trying the new voice navigation on SatNav in Sunday Night Trekking tomorrow? Um, I don't know, Connor. Have they finally announced that, Connor? Oh, yeah, I'm not a 135 on Eurotrick yet. I don't know if I'll have time to flick over to it, you see. TGG Dartman, you are sometimes pouring oil onto the fillet steak, not accurately hitting the pan. Not actually hitting the pan. Ah, uh, see so what you mean, TGG. Yeah. Right, so this voice nav stuff, I knew this was in the game months ago and I couldn't mention it. <laughs> I was like, I so want to mention this. This is so cool. Finally, they've announced it. They actually did a, an Easter egg on it um, back in, I think, February. They posted a tweet, and the tweet had a picture of some people arriving at the SCS headquarters who were voice actors, and it said they're here to record some voices. They were literally there recording the voice nav at that point. Yeah, the GPS voice, like turn left, turn right. So they already dropped a hint about it. I think I need to alt F4 this. I hope it saved it. I really hope it saved it, otherwise I'm going to be very, very unhappy. You don't like it, Tommy? <laughs> I can always turn it off. At the end of the road, turn right. They're definitely going to do voice packs, aren't they? Now, what it should do is when you're speeding, it should go speed, 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 <laughs> just to really annoy you. Um, load game. Oh, dear. Quick save. Save time 16, 14. Yeah, I think we just lost 40 minutes of our life, guys. So it looks like it doesn't properly, it doesn't auto save by the look of it. That's a bit annoying. Yeah. 
Yeah, sandbox basically lets you mess about with any of the stuff, I think. I'm just going to go and refill my, um, my juice. I shall be right back. I'm back. Do you know what? If we're doing day three again, or whatever it was, day four or something, it probably means that I didn't bin the, uh, I didn't bin the baking tray yet. It's a bit annoying though. I guess that means we've got to do the food critic again. Mad South African, does this qualify me for a free burger? You really want a free burger? <laughs> food critic is here, scored at least four stars in the exam. We're just going to get his parsley ready. Right, let's see. Fresh parsley, salt can go over here. Salt and pepper on the right. Sunflower all over here. We've got second timer. Now, fresh parsley grows up over here, but we accidentally dropped it when we smashed the plate. That potato looks like it's in good nick, actually. We can use that on the critics' dinner. Oh boy, that doesn't look like it's in a good state. Thirty-one seconds. Go. Right, where's the baking tray? And is everything clean? Put that in that. Okay, I think we're ready to go here. Lovely. Got less than a minute. Calm preparation phase. So I've got a bowl, a casserole basic, a deep plate, a large plate basic, a standard plate. See, I've been using these sometimes and they cost 10, they're only four. Should use the basic plate. Can you have a curry, lol? You think the tray needs cleaning? Mm, are you sure? I don't. I don't know how you clean it. That's the problem. Does that clean it? No idea. You get a refund back on the plates after they've eaten. Yeah, I know. That's true. We're open for business. First orders. Here we go. Let's go. Uh, pork chops. Salt and pepper, four grams, and dried thyme, six. Pork chop. Eighty seconds with the pork chop, right. Whoops. And what was it? Dry time six grams. And then add to a pan thirty mil sunflower oil. Ninety seconds each side. Let's go. Mm. 
Meanwhile, uh, baked potatoes, two of them into chunks. Factorial wine then. Lol. 50 grams. So we want to split this into three. Matrix time. And we want to put them six grams of salt. That's for the bacon tray, bake for 80 seconds. Potatoes need to be smaller. Well, not really Boatman's, he just needs to chew more. <laughs> I think that's working. It looks like it's working, I think. <laughs> medium raw. You need to put the oil in first, that way the meat doesn't absorb the oil. I don't know if it actually simulates that, to be honest. I honestly don't know. They've got the sounds quite well. So how do you clean this thing? It looks clean, but I don't know if it is clean. Transfer onto plate, serve hot. Done. It fell down. Are you actually serious? Why would it fall down? You, you hold a plate, you tell it to pick up the thing, it does it and then falls off. Thank you, Stevie. Missing product. Unwanted water and too much salt. Unwanted water? I didn't even put the potatoes in water. I literally put the potato on the baking tray. <laughs> and the baking tray would have dried off any water anyway. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I mean, all right, you've got me on the missing pork chop. But what the heck? That is so dumb the way it does that. I can't even touch it, it's too hot apparently. Right, salmon fillet. Five grams of salt and pepper. Let's go. Uh, summer fillet, sunflower oil, 10 mil of sunflower oil. Is that clean? I have no idea. How do we clean it? No idea. Salmon. 
60 seconds each side. Here we go. It's not clean. Okay. How do we clean it? The last time I tried to clean it by clicking on the bin, it threw it in the bin. So how do we clean it? The tutorial doesn't teach you a lot of stuff. It doesn't teach you anything about cleaning. <laughs> Maybe it's because it's pre-release, but it doesn't teach you about that. Is that clean now? There's 42 mil of sauce. I mean, I, I, is it going to get rid of the bin? Right. Bit too much oil, but we'll take it. It's quite difficult trying to put 10 mil of oil in this thing. Or potatoes. Uh... Thousand liters of water. We're completely messing up this order. Uh, let's see, 20 grams of salt. Now the annoying thing is, is we've already passed this and then we have to do it again because scumbag game. Water, 20 grams, right, potatoes. Should have probably started the potatoes before. Should have started the potatoes before I started on the salmon because this is going to be ready way earlier. Transfer on supply, serve hot, so no garnish whatsoever. pick that thing up you know there's still got a hot pork chop on the floor actually clean with this thing do you think looks like it kind of worked bizarrely food chris is going to be so impressed i'm sure the food critic wanted the garnish last time only one side of the salmon is cooked. I don't think so. We definitely flipped it over. If we mess this up, we'll just have to load it back in. Oh my god. Give the deadly food poisoning and you don't have to worry about them in the future. Good call. One potato. 
Two potato. See what he thinks. Too much salt. Don't believe that. Heating mistakes. Don't believe that. There you go, our first award. We got away with it. <laughs> the green bar is not the way to serve it's cooked. Well, what is then? See, this thing is still dirty, dirty, isn't it? It told me to boil for so many seconds. It told me to boil for 90 seconds, didn't it? How do we actually get this thing clean then? Wait, what? Where's all this come from? Baked trout. Five grams of salt. Hang on. Black pepper, thyme, and dill. Bacon tray, don't know how we clean this. It's just, it's just like, I don't get it. I don't get it. That's still got stuff on it. Uh, 90 seconds on a baking tray. Just put a timer on for that. Lemon into quarters, transfer onto the plate. Wait, what do you mean the fish fell off? What the heck, man? Where's the fish gone? What is going on? How can it fall off? Like, I don't understand this part of the game. You click on a baking tray, you walk over here, and somewhere between there and there, the game decides to throw the fish off your... It just doesn't make any sense. Happy anniversary, Nutter. I don't even know where it is. Yeah, but the thing is, Baz, one of the perks is to be able to run faster. <laughs> when you say I'm moving too quickly, you press the W key. There's no shift key to slow down. The crouch key to walk, like crouch down, which is no use whatsoever. But you cannot walk slowly. So you can't carefully walk over. I just find that a little bit frustrating aspect of the game, to be honest. It's not like I dropped something because I was doing something wrong. It just decided to throw it off. Happy and then you've got to notice it and pick it back up.
Right, we'll put that there. Like we can clean these things no problem when it comes to cleaning the baking tray. Hang on. So, right, you turn the hot water on, you get the baking tray. And there's no option to do, apart from that, enter context, which then does this, which does nothing more than put water on it. <laughs> which seems to clean it, so we'll go with that. Black pepper. Grab that tatty. So we'll put it over here. Right, I think we're ready. Everything's clean. Everything's in the right place. We've repaired stuff. Good to go. Fill your pans with water and boil it now to save time. Well, we could fill it with water. We don't actually know if we're going to need it. Is the board clean? No. Still not clean. Now it's got water on it. How are you supposed to get the, How are you supposed to get the water off? <laughs> this is so dumb. There you go. We've got the water off somehow. Right, pork chops. Let's do it. What towel? We don't have a towel. Pork chop. Um, four grams of salt, pepper, and six grams of dried thyme. Right, that's all done. Adds us a pan, 30 mil. And Ninety seconds, yeah. Uh, baked potato, two of those into chunks. Salt, baking tray. Mm. 
Six grams of salt, so presumably like one. Eighty seconds for that. Don't use the one you got off the floor, it's boil, that's where the water comes from. That would have been good advice a minute ago. <laughs> it's a bit late for that. No extra garnish. Oh boy. 15 seconds, almost ready. Let's grab a plate. That's the best way to dry it, just throw it on the floor. <laughs> okay, without dropping it. I should get a decent rating. Oh my god, what did we do? A bit too much, uh... Okay, that was the unwanted baked potato water oh, and a bit too yeah, much yeah. salt, which I don't believe. Heating mistakes in the pork chops, I don't believe that either. Welcome to the nut house. <sighs> Hello, dear. We're just cooking with squirrel. Just made uh, an amazing pork chop with uh, baked potato. <laughs> mm. Although it only gave me four star rating. Scumbag said it was too salty. What's that? Yorkshire tea? Yeah. Hmm? Uh, eight? Blimey, okay. Is that enough? Yeah, it's more than enough. Okay. Cup of tea. Thank you, Connor. Hello, Mrs. Squirrel. Hi. <laughs> ah, there you go. Uh, Ludovic has been gifted a sub by Mrs. Frosty. Thank you very much, Mrs. Frosty. Welcome to the house, Ludovic. Mrs. Squirrel, tell Squirrel to cook for real, says Whiteland. I do that all the time. <laughs> Bob Monkhouse, um, my cooking's just too awesome. That's the problem. Bob Monkhouse. Do you know what, though? He makes a really, 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 really good spaghetti bolognese. I do. And it's been years since I've had the opportunity to taste it. I do make a good spank bowl. 
That's for sure. It's been a while. No, no, Bob Monkhouse, <laughs> just some more beer tokens to go with your cooking. Thank you, Bob. <laughs> Restore failure. Thank you for 11 months. Fat Cowboy with four years. 48 months, Fat Cowboy. Tech James, 32. Joan Mill with three years. Thank you, Joan Mill. Old Nerd Reviews with eight. Nutty Good. Mr. Main Thrall with 15. This looks like fun. Who's eating first? <laughs> and Connor, I don't know about you, but I would get quite annoyed if I had just a plate of potatoes. Yeah, so would I. You're not going to like your tea then. <laughs> Aha, very good. What, food? I don't want food yet. What are you doing for tea? Pizza, oh yeah. About an hour? You're about to see the critics' food order. Right, we need to get that a clean, don't we? Okay, let's have a look. Salmon steak. Let's see if we can get this right. Should we do that? Let's do that. The heck? Salt and pepper. Right, salt and pepper, add to the pan 10 ml of sunflower oil. It's so difficult to put 10 ml on that. Right, boiled potatoes. Two of these, hang on a sec. Twenty milligrams of salt. Wait, or is it me, or is a lot of that water boiled away? See, I'm thinking we lost some water though. Right, two minute timer. 60 seconds on each side. Welcome back, Nutter. There's already a salt on the cutting board, say 1G, and you add 5 to Summer State. Does that mean Summer State gets 6? I don't believe so. I don't think it does that. No, it still says a litre of water, we're fine. Get ready to uh, flip the salmon. Yoshi, we already boiled it. You actually serious game. Oh my god. This is so dumb. I don't like that aspect of the game. That That's like some kind of surgeon simulator aspect.
How is it you can't pick up a potato? But you can if you've got... If you've got it on a plate, you can pick it up. I don't get it. Like, I can't pick the potato up, but if I have a plate, I can put it on the plate. <laughs> Surely if it's hot, it's hot, right? Uh, doesn't want any garnish. Just as well the guy doesn't see you actually putting things on the floor. I don't believe that too much salt. I put exactly 20 grams of salt in that water. Heating mistakes. I don't believe that either. So what he's saying is the salmon was absolutely perfect, but the potato had too much salt and wasn't cooked right. He's just like a critic, isn't he? He just thinks he turns up at your restaurant, you're serving perfect food and he goes, well, it was mostly okay, but, you know, it was a little bit too much salt and wasn't quite al dente for me. You're like, dude, get out. That was perfect. All right, we'll save that. Yeah, it was, it was, of course it was fresh water. I filled the pan up at the start of the day. It was perfect. Right, baked trouts, let's see. Baking tray is clean, isn't it? Uh, nope, that's salmon. Right, so five grams of... Pepper, thyme, and dill. Season, bake for 90 seconds, then we've got to put the horseradish on afterwards. Okay. Why can't I click that? And a lemon in four quarters. Garnish with parsley leaves. Okay. Oh boy. Let's get rid of that. Some guy wants a chicken soup. Chicken broth, 700 mil. We don't even have enough. Oops. A little bit too much. 700 mil, 12 grams of salt.
So you can take a baking hot try out the oven, but you can't pick up the fish. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Right. Uh, put that on there. And then I think we want horseradish to go five grams. Parsley leaves six grams. I'm assuming all that stayed on the plate. Look at that. That's not a bad score. Flavors. Perfecto. Technique. Bad cutting. What was bad about that? It was in four pieces. I mean, really? Come on. That's just being picky now. Uh, Sharpie, it's the, it's a press release version. So it's a pre-release. Happy anniversary, Nutter. I don't think we're going to get this delivered on time. 12 grams of black pepper. Cayenne pepper, six grams. Tomato, 960 grams of tomato. That's one. Two, three, how many do we need? Four, five, six, need seven, does it? Or eight, one or two. Eight plus an onion. Why do we have to make fresh soup? This is crazy. You should have soup from yesterday. Boil for 60 seconds. And then blend it and then add 150 ml of sour cream. Uh, where's the sour cream? That doesn't actually do anything, it's crazy. Fifty mil. Mm. 
Uh, add sour cream, pour the liquid into a deep blue, a deep plate, serve hot. Is that enough? He wants 300, he got 336, he better like it. One second to spare, did you see that? One second? It was like... Unbelievable! Just in time delivery of tomato soup. Wrong amount of product. Dude, you got more! How can you possibly complain when you got 10% more? <laughs> Just sheer skill, exactly. I gave them more. Would you complain if you was a customer? I gave you like more soup than you wanted, like 10% extra, and you'd be like, this is outrageous. You can be too. You know, wrong amount of product. <laughs> welcome back. Nox, welcome back. Tom, one pack. Been away for a while. Pleased to be back. Welcome back, Tom. Jeffrey, uh, Big Bad Morrow, thanks for the 31 months of entertainment. Just got done mowing my lawn. Do you want to do mine? Jeffrey, 42. Thank you, sir. Once you're finished, we're closing down for the night. Yay. Cutting board's clean, anyway. Happy anniversary, Nutter. Blend, I can go over there. See, we've got a load of soup here. I reckon you can reuse that soup, you know. Wait, where's the phone gone? The heck? <laughs> what is going on out there? We need to spend our points. Uh, let's see. All right, fairly clean. I think everything's all nice and clean. I think we can keep this, you know. Oh, fantastic. I reckon we can just warm that up and use it again. I don't know when it goes off. Connor, you should take an empty plate to the serving area for science to see what they will say. <laughs> Put one in the fridge. Or the soup. I don't think it'll make any difference. So you can't physically put it down. The only thing you can do is throw it, and I'm not going to do that. I appear to have I to have removed the door. I'm not really sure how I did this. <laughs> how do you put the door back on? <laughs> Advanced controls. Um, rip. That way. Just stick it back on. I 
I think we're getting a free door. They've put a new door on and we've got free ones. Mr. Referick, thank you for the bits. I just showed on the stream of squirrels trying to get a propane tank in the oven whilst breaking the million dollar fridge on the oven. Yep. Yep. That's that's pretty much what's happening here. Where's the fire extinguisher, by the way? Oh, come on, day three. Have you actually made some money? Now, if I remember, we'd, um, we did some skill points, didn't we? Choose perk. I think I did. Busy day. And then after that, Which one was it now? That one. Did that to 30%. Kitchen decorations. What else did I spend? We've got one point available. You think you did guest tip stage two? So the grammar repairs faster is not a biggie. We're okay on that on that one. Ten percent cheaper on repairs. I mean this this can start to get useful. Twenty percent more from fave from fame points. You earn fifty more experience points for dish stars. Kitchen decorations are cheaper. 10% more cooking points from served dishes. I'm not sure if we spent that last point or not. Yeah, there was, there was one about buying recipes being cheaper. But I can't find it. Actually, I don't think there is. I don't think there is one for that. Unlock recipe. Duck broth, grilled tuna steak, or fast pumpkin soup. I think we did. Duck broth, if I remember. Day four. This is where it went wrong last time, look. It's stuck on this screen. But now it didn't. You can use the shop or the larder to get our new carrots. You're going to need some new ingredients for the recipe. You can find them in the store. Daily quest. Serve a dish with a score of at least six stars. At the end of the day, have more money than at the beginning. Okay, the second one we should be able to do as long as we don't buy any wacky ingredients or equipment and the first one that's going to be tricky six stars i thought the maximum was five <laughs> i don't know how we're going to do that one <laughs> right then let's have a look equipment today's special is duck broth with an hour will be open for business
Right, there's a litre of water just in case we need it. See, what bugs me is you want, during the preparation phase, I can't look at the menus. I can only skip preparation phase. I'd like to be able to jump through now and look at the menu for the stuff, like the duck broth, so I can get ahead of the game. Right, clean, clean, clean. Might as well skip. There's nothing else I can really do at this point because I can't see what ingredients we need. New order. Pork chops, right. It's 200 gram of pork chops. Four grams of salt and pepper and six grams of thyme. that done uh, 30 mil of oil in a pan ninety seconds for each side and then baked potatoes we're gonna need two potatoes I think Sub bomb! Who was that? AN4211 gifted six subs. Thank you very, very much, AN4211. We had a whole bunch of people gifting subs earlier. Unbelievable. Thank you very much, AN. If you do get a sub gifted to you, please remember to thank AN4211 for gifting that sub for you. Welcome back. The laptop shows the recipes. Ah, that's a good point, Buzz. Cut the potatoes into chunks, season with six grams of salt. To the nut house. Right, that's on for 90 seconds. How many chunks? Uh oh. <laughs> oh well. Welcome to the nut house. Uh, baking tray, eighty seconds. Okay. Let's get ready. Yep, there's going to be a bad cutting technique nightmare. Absolutely. You know it's going to happen. I know you're probably sat there laughing right now. I'm not, I'm not. Yeah, I knew it.
And the best thing is, I think the pan has lost the sunflower oil. Yes, I'm seriously going to serve that. You saw what happened. It just went completely stupid. Bit of salt on here. Welcome back, Mata. Welcome to the Nut House. <laughs> it stains on the floor. <laughs> 